Hi guys! To see how and why I dyed my hair silver gray, keep watching! This is it, all put together. I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. I can't believe how amazing it came out just in the first sitting. So I'll tell you a little bit about what made me decide to do this. I've been going gray for quite a while. I actually don't even know how long because that's how long I've been coloring my hair. I think I started seeing my first grays like in my late 20s, but I always, always, always colored my hair, so I never really knew what my natural hair looked like. And as the years went on, I will be 49 in a few days, I realized that it's getting whiter and whiter and whiter as my roots come in. But I felt like my color always kind of camouflaged it enough so I could get through about two weeks, which is not long. So every two weeks I would have to color the roots and cover them up and it would just get muddy and the color wouldn't be beautiful anymore. So just recently, if you guys have seen any of my last hair videos, I bleached and colored my hair a golden blonde. And within a few days, I started seeing the contrast of my silver roots coming through. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm done fighting what is not me. I just would look in the mirror and not feel like me anymore. The colors that I would try just never felt right. And I was definitely thinking about my different options. So that is when I came across a YouTube video totally by accident. I was searching, I think, um, hair, hair, something about hair. And this video popped up and it said something like, how I lost all my hair with one horrible mistake or something to that effect. So I clicked on the video and it was this young girl, I'm guessing in her early 20s, with a hoodie on and tears in her eyes. And she told the story about how she went to the local drugstore and she bought a product that she thought would help her hair. And she put it on her hair for 20 minutes, got in the shower, and as she started washing her hair, she could feel something was wrong and chunks of hair were coming out and she could feel it sliding down her back and splashing into the water. And that is traumatizing. I, I mean, some people were saying, oh, that's ridiculous. Why are you crying? It's traumatizing. Anything with your appearance is traumatizing. And I volunteered with a program called Look Good, Feel Better with the American Cancer Society for over three years. So I saw women come in there burned from radiation and chemo with no hair, no eyebrows, no eyelashes. Their, their skin was peeling and I would help them feel beautiful again. I would show them how to take care of their skin while they were going through active treatment and how to draw their eyebrows back on and what colors to use on their face to make them look bright and awake and we would do wig fittings. And I really feel like the transformation that they had when they tried a wig on and their face would light up and they would hug me and they would say thank you so much I feel so beautiful they were just glowing you could not tell any difference from you and I their hair looked amazing their makeup looked amazing it's incredible what we can do to make ourselves feel better and take care of ourselves so even though this girl whose video I watched wasn't losing her hair because of an illness or a condition it was something she did to herself it was still traumatizing. And there are so many people out there who bleach their own hair and take it into their own hands to do their hair at home. I did too. Even though I did go to hairdressing school way back in 1984, I haven't been actively practicing or keeping up on the newest techniques or anything, but at least I knew the basics. I know what the chemicals do to your hair and what to use and what not to use and how far to push your hair. 
So the girl whose video I was watching ended up having such bad breakage, some parts right down to the root, that she ended up having to get her head shaved and there was just like little stubble left on her head. So I decided to check out her Instagram page and I want you guys to check this out. Her name is Hannah Forcia, F-O-R-C-I-E-R. And I look on her Instagram page and this beautiful young girl completely embraced what she was going through and rocked it. She is rocking her hair like no one I've ever seen before. She is absolutely gorgeous. I think she looks so incredible, more beautiful than she did before with her bleached hair. So this really touched me. I felt like this young girl where appearance is probably the most important to you at this time in your life when you're still finding yourself. Why am I covering up with colored hair? I have gray hair. I have salt and pepper hair and I will show you guys a picture of what my roots look like right before we colored. And I had actually posted this picture on Facebook and Instagram and I got a lot of you leaving comments saying, oh, just shave your head and try a wig, which was an option. I honestly thought about that. Or shave your head and just rock it like Hannah. Another option which I was really leaning towards was making it silver, but in my mind, I was thinking that I wanted to go more of like a platinum silver. So this is initially what I wanted to do, the really platinum and then have my roots a little bit darker and just have it really silvery, icy, blondy platinum. You cannot get that look unless you bleach your hair down to a level 10, which is white, 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 with no pigment in your hair. To get your hair like that, when you have dark hair like I do, and I had a lot of color buildup, that is just not gonna happen without all of your hair breaking off. To get that, you have to do it in stages and go gradually. So this was definitely not something that I was going to tackle myself, like I have been doing my own color, bleach, cutting, everything of my own hair. I have not let another hairdresser touch my hair since I was like 20 years old. So it's been almost 30 years since anyone else besides myself has touched my hair. So this was a really hard decision for me and I started doing some research. I called a few hairdressers that I thought would take on the challenge and I'm glad that they told me that they were not comfortable with this and it wasn't a project that they wanted to take on and I completely respect that and thank you, thank you. Then I was thinking my friend Kelly is a hairdresser so I started talking with her and I gave her some pictures and ideas like what I just showed you of what I was looking for and we talked back and forth about different ideas and she was saying that she could blend in like the charcoal and the steel that way my new root growth would come out so much nicer that was my final goal is i just wanted it to look stylish i didn't want it to look like i was giving up on my hair and on myself because that's just not who i am and I feel like just because you decide to let your hair go gray, your natural color, does not mean that you're giving up on yourself. It does not mean that you're getting old. Actually, when I first looked in the mirror after my hair was silver, I had never felt more beautiful. I had never felt more like me. It's like this color just feels right on me because I'm gray. And this is the closest color to my hair that is naturally me that I've ever had. And even my husband said the same thing. He's like, every time he looks at me, he's like, babe, you look so hot, I love your hair. And he said the same thing, like, this looks the most like me, it looks the most natural. So we both felt the same thing. And it's been three days since I've colored my hair. I've just been soaking it in coconut oil and it's not greasy at all, it's healthy, it's strong. 
and it just really feels good to finally be embracing myself. And honestly, this has nothing to do with getting old or aging in my mind. This has to do with embracing myself naturally, what I naturally look like. And it's so funny because when I told my daughter that I was going to let my natural gray grow in and dye my hair silver, she freaked. She was like, no mom, please, please don't do that. All my friends think you're such a MILF. You look so young. Now you're gonna look so old. Please don't do it. I was like, what? I said, that is like telling someone, your nose is too big, you need to get a nose job. I honestly feel like it's the same exact thing. This is my natural hair, this is who I am, and I want to embrace it. I want to help all of you guys transition over to your natural silver gray hair if that's what you decide to do. I feel like this is one of the hardest things that we have to go through as we get older, and there are a lot of women who are prematurely gray and are embarrassed and trying to cover it up. And fortunately, right now, the granny trend with the silver hair is so in style. So if any of you are thinking about doing this, right now is the time because women are spending hundreds and thousands of dollars to get their hair to look like our hair looks naturally. So if you've been thinking about it, just go for it. I feel like my roots are going to grow in flawlessly and I'll see once they start growing in if I'm going to do any more highlights or add some toner. Gray does not stay in your hair for a long time like other colors. It fades very, very quickly. So I'll show you some of the things that I'm going to be using to keep my hair this color. I have John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renew Tone Correcting Shampoo and Conditioner. These are both purple. I have the Shimmer Lights Conditioner. This one is even darker purple. And what I'm going to do the first time that I end up washing my hair, so I am going to soak my head in the Shimmer Lights and this Sheer Blonde, both purple conditioners. And I am going to wrap my head in a bag and let it sit for at least an hour or two and just soak the purple into my hair. Then after I rinse it, I have this Rue Fancy Full Temporary Hair Color Rinse, and this is in number 42, Silver Lining. And this you put in after you get out of the shower and your hair is still damp, towel dried, and you put gloves on and pour this into your hand, pull it through your hair evenly, comb it through, and this is like a temporary rinse color that will stay in your hair and keep it silver until the next time you wash it out. Kelly also brought me two shampoos to try, and these are, this one is Viral Extreme Silver Color Wash, and this is a cleanse and color. And this one is Gem Lights Brown Titanium Pearl Brassy Red Eliminator Color Wash Cleanse and Color. So I will link all of these products below and all of the products that Kelly used on me to get my hair like this. Hi guys, I'm here with my friend Kelly. Say hi Kelly. Hi. <laughs> she is also a licensed hairdresser and I have decided that I am going to try to blend in the colored part of my hair to my natural gray roots. So this is the actual like decision here as she's looking through my hair to see how much gray. So Kel, like yeah. talk talk out loud, like what, what you're looking at, what so, your thoughts are. Yes. My thoughts are, um, like you have about maybe 30% gray, I would say there. Maybe a little more through here, but it's a little finer. Your hair's gone through a lot over the last couple of years, right? Been doing a lot of yeah, I've color bleached it like about that. twice a year, okay. and I color every two weeks mm -hmm. the roots mm -hmm. with just box okay. color. So taking all that into consideration, and um, you know, we can, you know, I'm going to use some bleach on you. Yeah, I definitely some. want. I, I know that my hair is strong. Like I know my hair, how mm -hmm. it handles. Mm -hmm. The only part that I ever have trouble with is this here because it's all gray. Okay. 
So this will like singe up and burn off. So we have to bleach this last. <laughs> otherwise, my hair is super strong, maybe like just the ends of the bangs, but otherwise my hair is like super strong. So like, what are your thoughts on like, I brought like this charcoal color and it sounds okay. really scary, like it's black, but it's not. Yep. Um, it's kind of like translucent. So what I'm thinking is to like heavily highlight, but also like keep some of this in, you know, this in here, but put the charcoal on this we'll sort of like, um, we're going to get rid of the gold though, right? Yes, Cause I don't want any exactly of the gold. Right, I want it right, totally right. toned, right. like cool. Right. Okay. So that's what that will do. It's going to act like a, a toner. Okay. And it's, so it being that we're taking away the gold, it's going to, you know, see how it reflects the light, the gold yeah. really reflects the yeah. light. The, the charcoal is going to absorb the light. So it's going to sort of appear a lot darker, yeah. but it's not actually going to be darker. Which my natural hair is really dark. Right. Like, I mean, that's what here, let me turn around for the camera yeah. so they can see like the back, back here. Moment. There's less gray, so it's a little darker. So I'm thinking to put just the charcoal on the root and kind of blend it out. Okay. So the only question is, you know, you say your hair is strong and all mm -hmm. of that. I'm going to use like Olaplex, which is, um, you know, conditioning agent and helps with the, the bonding and all of that. Yeah. So there's still no guarantees. You're not going to have breakage. You're going to have Absolutely. some breakage. Yep. And, you know, I mean, we're going to do the best we can to, to get yep. the integrity of the hair and all of that. Yep. So that's one thing about, you know, with the heavy highlights, you know, maybe heavier here and then less back in here. So, and actually I think that looks good when you bring your hair around, mm -hmm. you have like variation of color. Right, there, right. And it doesn't like completely wash you out. You have like, yeah, and it gives yeah, a little uh, depth and dimension. I'm doing 40 volume because I'm gonna be adding Olaplex. So that takes it down and makes it like a 30 volume. So 40 volume developer and Olaplex. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like using 30 volume, so it's not quite as strong. And mix it up. So I got the bleach gel mix, and I'm just going to put in a little bit of toner right in there of the charcoal. Charcoal toner in the bleach. Right. And you've seen you've seen like the BW white and stuff like that. It's got blue tint to it. Yeah. And that'll that cancels the brassiness. This is going to do the same thing, but give it more of a silvery tone. Okay. So the charcoal is going to go right over top in between. And that's straight toner? Yes. It's going to go in between the toner with bleach? Yes. And it's, this is also going to go in the root. Okay. So this will be the root and the sections in between the highlights. I got all the foils ready. <laughs> My helper. <laughs> So this is the part I left out from the highlighting. So now what we're gonna do is do the, the charcoal low lighting in there. So it was already weaved out. It looks dark, but it's not gonna be this dark. So I tried it on my hair, that's how I know. <laughs> <laughs> side the highlighted part. Take a fine section. Weave that out. She wants more blonde, so I'm doing thicker blonder streaks here.
for sex tonight? Oh. <laughs> Babe, I told you I'm filming. Always ready for sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving to death, so I'm eating. It is almost 9.30 at night, and we just rinsed out the back. So the, the darker part came out perfect. The lighter part, we're gonna dry it first, but Should I make probably gonna use a me? little bit more toner, like a little bit more silvery. And we're still processing the front and the sides and the top. Those are, these are the first sections we did. It's gonna be a nice color. I'm so excited. Like beigey with some cool blonde tones. All right, so we wait. So the Olaplex was mixed in with the 40 volume developer and the bleach. And then the same color as we did for the low lights with the charcoal. This is what? It's Direct a dye. My identity. What's the color? It's charcoal. This is charcoal. That was a. Was this by itself or in with the bleach? Um, I put that in with the bleach just to have that cooler tone come out, and then it was also the color I used for the the dark lights, color. The lights, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now we're gonna do what? I think for the toner, we'll have to see when it's dry. But um, eight and ten, level eight and level ten. So we're using the Gai Tang Kenra color. And these are the two colors that we're gonna, oh, they're upside down. Is that upside down? These are the two colors that we're gonna mix, the 10SM and the 8SM. Working it through the ends now for the last few minutes because they're very porous, so they're gonna grab a lot quicker. So this is the silver toner. Yes. Hoping that it really soaks in there. It will. We're rinsed. Get over here! No. Get over here! Right, yeah, right here. Babe, bring another chair. Yeah, no. Get over here. Oh. This woman, yeah, let's do this chair. Come over here. This woman is incredible. Look at this magician's work. Wow. Ah, I nice. love it. it love it. Yeah, it looks really good. Love it so much. So you guys, I if, love it. <laughs> <laughs> hubby loves it. So if you guys are trying to grow out your gray hair like I am, this is an amazing option. So I am going to be finding different ways to keep my hair toned and maybe even tone it more. So I will keep you guys updated as I figure that out. And I'm going to close out this video when I have my makeup on. So I'm gonna put on my makeup mm -hmm. and then I'll say goodbye to you guys. But this woman's amazing. Yay. And I will link all her information below. And you may be getting a lot more clients. So great. if you guys live in this area and want to grow your gray out and get your hair toned, ready to grow in your own salt and pepper, 
she's the one to call. So I'll link all her information below. Love Thank you. you. Oh. <laughs> that looks awesome. So if you guys are interested in having Kelly do your hair, she has a salon at her home and she also will travel to your house for an extra fee, which is what we did. I had her come to the house. It was so nice and relaxing and so much easier. Be confident in who you are and what you look like. You are beautiful just the way you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.